Today we stand with two of our major employers in the state and their workers. Uh, Massachusetts has declared economic war on us and we're going to fight back. Uh, the casino industry in New England paid $638.1 million to government and had 17,000 uh, people employed. And that is money that goes right to Connecticut. In Connecticut at our peak, we had about $430 million come to our state as far as our, in our budget. And today we'll have about $260 million uh, come to the state of Connecticut. Uh, revenue to the state goes to the state and grants to cities and towns have dropped by about $1.2 billion uh, since 2006. And we know that because we've seen the expansion of other uh, casinos all over the Northeast. And, and if we don't do something right now, this is our clarion call, then uh, jobs will suffer and Eastern Connecticut jobs will suffer. And we are here to say that we're going to support and we're going to fight for jobs in Eastern Connecticut. This is uh, an effort to protect jobs in the state of Connecticut, which are, are threatened by the proliferation of, of casinos and other gambling sites uh, in our region. And just as we would work hard to protect any other industry, it's important for us to protect uh, this industry. Uh, over the last uh, 20 years or more since the original compact between the Mashantucket Pequots and Governor Weicker was signed and then later amended to include the compact with the Mohegans, uh, our cities and towns, for instance, have received nearly $2 billion in payments under the, uh, the Mashantucket Pequot and uh, Mohegan Fund. And this funding has helped municipalities hold a line on property taxes to hire teachers, police officers, firefighters, uh, and provide critical services. And it's critically important to preserve jobs that are currently uh, held by the, uh, uh, the two casinos that are operating in Eastern Connecticut, but also to recognize that competition now is coming from elsewhere. The likelihood of the, uh, the Springfield Casino to be open in about, uh, about two and a half years, uh, we need to be strategically able to compete with that facility and other facilities that may operate uh, in our neighboring state. What this does is it says that jobs in this area are important. Eastern Connecticut has struggled over the last number of years to maintain the jobs it has and to increase the jobs it has, in particular those of a living wage. Uh, I stand here today with the workers, both uh, the workers within the two casinos and the trades who are building expansions at both the Mashantuckets and the Mohegan tribes to see that we have good jobs in Eastern Connecticut and good jobs in Connecticut. We will not stand aside and let any other state, New York, Massachusetts, or Rhode Island, take jobs away from Connecticut. This is a key, integral part of tourism in our state. And we hope to continue this legislation so that we can continue to provide this great team the opportunity to be the gold standard for tourism in the United States.